I'm going to show you how to change the brake pads on a 2022 and up Subaru BRZ and Toyota GR86. It's actually the same as the last generation and it's actually pretty simple. So what you need is a 14 millimeter. You can also get a crescent wrench too. That might be helpful. I got a brake pad spreader at O'Reilly, but I'll put a link down to Amazon where you can get one of these too. Now I'm using Counterspace Garage CP pads. These are for street and track duty. If you're just driving around on the street, you don't need anything like this, but this is gonna be sort of a dual purpose pad. These are designed to work extremely well under high temperatures and not fade under track use but also not squeal on the street. These are a compound that I've been using for a long time. They have been developed over about a decade or so. And by the way, I'm not sponsored. I actually paid for these with my own money. These are um, high temperature pads. You can see these are the CP gray. They also have a number of other pads too. So that's what we're gonna be using today because I am planning on taking my car to the track. So I've got the wheels off the car. I've got it on jack stands. Everything is nice and safe. And what you wanna do is, this is the caliper here. We're gonna take this off. And I haven't done this before actually in this car, but we're just gonna figure it out. I'm sure it's pretty simple. So I've already loosened these up, but basically, basically just loosen it up like so. Lefty loosey, righty tighty when you're looking at it directly. So I'm gonna take these bolts out, put them off to the side safely so you know exactly where they are. I'm just gonna put these pads away too. Now, once I take the caliper off, I wanna have it, I don't wanna have it hanging off the hose. I wanna have it sitting on something. So I've just got another jack stand. And yes, these look kind of funky because these are for a BMW and my Supra. But you could put a box here, anything. Just make sure that the caliper is not hanging by the hose. Pull this off, it comes off very easily, as you can see. Okay, that's pretty good. And then there's a pad on either side. So there's one on this side. It's got these little clips here. I'm just going to slide it out like so on the back. Let me move this around. Okay, just gonna slide it out like this. Now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna push these pistons back in slightly. These pads are almost new, but they still need to be pushed in because I have been using the car a little bit. I've got a few hundred miles on it. So I'm just gonna put in an old pad and then I'm gonna take this caliper spreader, I guess they call it. And before you use the caliper spreader, I'm just gonna take off the cap right over here from the brake reservoir to make it a little bit easier so air can, if there's any air, any pressure, it can get out here. Shouldn't be any air in there, of course. And now I'm just gonna turn this to push the caliper, push the pistons back in. I'm gonna do it on this side, it goes in pretty nicely. Take your time, it's not too difficult. And I'm just going to move to the other side just to get the other one in too. In fact, just to make sure it's flat because those have those clips on them, I'm just going to do it one more time just to make sure they're really in to make it easy to get the pads back in. That actually seems pretty good. So next I'm going to reinstall the pads. Now you notice that the factory pads have these clips on them like this. Uh, don't worry about taking these off. The aftermarket pads often are not going to have those clips. Yes, they might rattle around a bit. They might make a little bit of noise or not. I guess we'll find out. These pads are basically designed just to keep everything kind of centered and make it easy. So don't worry about it. Just put the aftermarket pads in. Make sure they are flush. Same thing here. Just take your time. Make sure they're nice and flush with the rotor when you're done. So when you're done, it should look like this. And now all I need to do is put the caliper back on. So you can see it was actually pretty easy to slide that back on because I used the caliper spreader. I'm just gonna put these bolts in like so, get them tightened up by hand. The torque spec for these guide bolts is only 20 foot pound or pound feet. So I'm just gonna do it by hand. Don't do it too tight. Um, if you wanna use a, a torque wrench, you certainly can, but these were not very tight from the factory, so don't over tighten them. They're basically just there to guide stuff. They're not going to come out because you've got all this clamping force on here. On the rear, it's actually pretty much the same thing. It's also a 14, so you've got one up here and you got one down there. Let me show you a little bit closer. There's the one on the bottom. Here's the one on top. You're gonna move it this way. I already loosened up that one. This one's gonna need 
lost a little bit of my muscle. There we go. Okay, take these two bolts out. This is the first time I'm doing it in this car, so you can see how tight these bolts are. Same deal, I'm gonna take the caliper off like so. It comes off, <laughs> put it on something. I'm just gonna put it right here. Although it's not a great place. Actually, I think you can actually just lay it right up on the suspension on the upper control arm like that. That's actually pretty good and it's not gonna fall off. So do that and then we're just gonna take off the pads again. So this pad is just gonna come out like so. Sorry for the light. This pad is gonna come out the same way. Voila, that's it. We're gonna do the same thing over here. We are going to compress this piston back into the, the housing. And I'm just gonna use this spreader again. I've got a regular pad against that. And I'm just gonna uh, squeeze it in. Hopefully you can see that. And that's it, it went in super easy. So now you can see that the piston is nicely in there, it's nice and flush. So now it'll be pretty easy to put the pads back on here. So just like the front, these pads are identical front and back. So all you gotta do is just put it into the exact same spot where you took them out of. There's some little springs back here. You just gotta mess with them a little bit to get the pad in, but it's very, very simple. Same in the back, you just gotta fit them into these little, little spots, these little guys like that. So the caliper, goes on like so. See, it slides on super easy. And just by hand, I'm gonna put these two bolts back in. You can just do everything by hand. I would definitely not use any power tools. You shouldn't need any power tools. If they're really, really old and seized, then you might need to use a breaker bar, but they shouldn't be seized because the torque spec on these is super low, 20 foot pounds on these bolts, very light. And just guide them in because you're on rubber might take a second just to kind of find the thread and then just tighten them up. And just do it by hand. Again, if you want to use a torque wrench, that's a good idea. Don't over tighten them. You have to be snug. And this should move around. That's totally normal. The first time you're going to hit the brake pedal, it's going to feel kind of soft because the piston is pushed in. So do this in the driveway. Don't roll down the driveway. Press the pedal a couple times in the car before you start moving it, just to make sure that everything is hunky-dory and you should be good to go. 